have to be adding a gate to my chicken run, mostly because right now we just have the door like this and we've used carabiner hooks to hook it and I near about break my neck every time I go over it because my foot gets hung. So I went to Tractor Supply and I got a four foot gate, um, a four foot gate to go in here. It's pretty small at the bottom, but I think I'm gonna add some chicken wire to it or hardware cloth to keep my tiniest bantams from getting through. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dig the post holes so we can set those today and let them dry, oh, hair in my mouth, <laughs> let them dry overnight so that we can um, hang the fence this weekend. The first thing I did was YouTube how to use a post hole digger. So we're gonna give this a try. It's been really cold and the ground is frozen, but it's warmed up a lot today and it's wet. So I'm hoping that'll help me dig a better hole. This is definitely not a how-to because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it. But here we go. Okay, the ground is hard, but we're gonna, we're gonna get this done. I am woman. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's gotta be a better way. Everybody who uses one of these that knows what they're doing always seem to make it look a little bit easier than this. But nevertheless, I won't give up. Maybe that's why she said like, throw it in the ground. <laughs> the giggling you hear is my daughter on camera. Yay. And we've got a lot of rocks. There's a lot of rocks in the ground. We've got a lot of rocks. I might get a shovel. Dad's trowels in the um, garage. Somewhere. Well, no, we have like a like a sharp shovel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like the snow shovel. What is that clay under there? Clay under that dirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you have to dig farther down to hit clay. I think clay's a bedrock. About now I'm starting to contemplate my life and why I made these decisions. I could have waited for my husband to get home, but I thought, I can do this. I can surprise him and have already dug the holes. And I can. I built my first chicken fence by myself. Boss, babe. <laughs> this spot's a lot easier. I think it was rocks. And the other one. I don't know if you're supposed to be twisting it, but that seems to be what's working here. Only like six more inches to go. Oh, I'm right over there. Ah, oh, poop. I think I dug it too close to this and now I'm hitting metal. This is a big chunk of rock. I hope this is all that was there, that there's not a lot more left to find. We'll see. Good news is, this is still working. The bad news is, I dug so close to the T on this T post, I can't actually pull the dirt out with the T post. It's digging it, but then I have to take my handy dandy spade and scrape it out. So again, this is not a how-to. This is me winging it and hoping that you don't make the same mistakes I did. When I get deep enough, I'll be able to pull this out. Not that I go to the gym, but if I did, I'd skip it today because this is one heck of a workout. But we're almost there. I'd say more than halfway. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got the first hole dug. I set the post in it to make sure it fits, and it seems like it fits onto the second hole. I use the gate to mark where it needs to go, and we begin. This one will be much easier because we won't have the T-post in the way. Hopefully there's not a lot of rock. Tell me. Lost the coat. Hair in a ponytail because I couldn't see, but I've made a lot of progress in this hole. Some of it has been using the spade. Some of it has been using a kid's shovel to scoop the dirt out. But look how deep we got it. So after, um, I'll go in YouTube how to set a post with cement and I'll come back and tell you. So you're gonna fill the hole a third of the way full of water. I hope this is enough water. The ground shouldn't be thirsty, it's decorated. I think that's good. That might be a little bit more than a third. And then you're gonna cut open the sack creek and pour it in. And that might have been a little different than I was expecting. But we're gonna pour the cement in. I think I got a hole in my bag. Fill, fill, fill. Do I need to say again, this is not a how-to. This might be a what not to do, but we're making it work. If it needs to get done for the animals, it gets done. Then add a little more water. Try to keep the chickens out of it. And now on to the next hole. Another third of the way full with water. And then the sack creek. Try not to get your hands wet. <laughs> I'm going to try to smooth this out here. <laughs> I don't want to get my hands messy. Ugh. My chickens think the concrete is grit. Back up, ladies. You don't want to eat that. Hoping and praying these are straight. Now, let's get this out of here. Because that would drive me nuts if that wasn't there forever. And now add a little more water. Oh, we missed some in the back. Push your extra around there. Get it nice and full. You don't want anything to fall. Got a bunch of extra right here that I'm gonna try to push around to the back and fill it up. All the extra. Oops, whoops, see I moved it. Now let's make sure I get it straight because we don't want it to dry crooked. Now a little bit more water. And now we just work on straightening them up. I might zip tie them to where I want them so that we can keep them straight. Okay, so overall, I am not a professional, but it got done and I didn't need my husband to help me. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. Sit back in for the next video when we hang the actual gate. That part, I know how to do. I've never done it, but I've got the idea. So we'll see. Until then, happy flocking.